uh, Patrick, Patrick CC with a banger. Surely a banger, man. Surely a banger. Uh, extreme home makeover destroyed families. Y'all remember the show? Move that bus. I'm hearing that a lot of like a lot of these shows, obviously that you watch when you're younger, when I was younger. A lot of them are bullshit, man. There's another video too that uh yeah here it is there's another video too that i was gonna check out that that discusses something but it was uh pimp my ride apparently people's cars were just getting like fucked up <laughs> like it looks cool then but it's like some people's cars was getting fucked up some people ha they had their stuff taken out of the car and they had to leave with their shit it's like damn what how like how did what happened here i need to know what happened here and how does nigga got away with it because how many seasons of shows did he have he reminded me of a, my my old gym teacher Imagine one morning you wake up to this guy screaming outside of your house into a megaphone. Move. You walk but, outside to but. find out that he is with a television crew and they are sending you and your family on a one week vacation. And during that time, he is going to demolish your home and build you a brand new one from the ground up. Think about how crazy that concept is. Like what? I forgot that the family even got sent on a vacation. I thought them niggas was just sat up in a hotel. Although it's pretty obnoxious, it sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Well, it is a good deal, until it's not. Foreclosures, angry community members, property tax increases, bills doubling to tripling, and even more family struggles. True, I didn't even think about that. The neighbors, bro. The fucking neighbors. Many of the families that were featured on Extreme Makeover Home Edition ended up worse off than before Ty Pennington showed up on their doorstep. But to fully understand how some families were negatively affected by what seems to be a very generous gift, we must first take a look at the families that were carefully chosen to get these home remodels. Typically, individuals would fill out an application form on the ABC website, which required them to it's provide not all a story and glamour. of why they deserved a new house. Someone said a vacation is a vacation. You could also nominate another family, such as a friend. Oh, this nigga got no legs. They fucked over a nigga with no legs and five damn kids. Is that his wife? Nah, that bitch in the back. I mean, that lady in the back. Four damn kids or a member of your community. Every episode starts with a story of the deserving family in need, such as a family that lost their mother or father, a family with a disabled child, a family that's living in poverty, or a family affected by a natural disaster. Since this was a reality television show, it was very important to produce the most tear-jerking episodes yep, possible, featuring true. stories that would deeply tug at the viewers' heartstrings. Some people argued that specifically targeting families who had endured unimaginable tragedy and faced overwhelming hardship was a ABC exploiting them for better ratings. Joe Scarborough of MSNBC claimed that extreme. I mean, didn't he just say that they submit stuff though? So it's not like they like they you got to reach out to be submitted into the show. So makeover has a secret wish list of victims the show is trying to hunt down. They want to find a family who has multiple children with Down syndrome. They want to find a child with a rare condition that causes rapid aging and death. They want to find an extraordinary mom or dad who's diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease. Why so specific? Now, if the show was aggressively targeting these people, sure, that's a bit weird, especially because it's likely for the TV ratings and not for charity. However, it is still a good deed. Plus, if they helped out middle-class families or ones that seemed like they weren't that bad off, they would be criticized for not focusing on a more deserving family. I don't think home makeover is taking advantage of the families. However, I do think that monthly subscription sites take advantage of you and know that most people forget to cancel their subscriptions. Well, today's sponsor, Rocket w Money, ad. is here to help. The, Rocket I Money is an all-in-one i seen this one coming though i seen this one coming work on that bro work on that current spending this month 18k god damn what is you what is you buying finance platform that helps you save more and spend less this personal finance app allows you to manage subscriptions lower bills build a custom budget and grow your i'm not gonna lie i might need that bro place i'm using rocket I'm like, money to clean up all those unnecessary no you're not i'm, I'm like bro i like i'm like subscribed to so many like things for shows like for shows it's, it's ridiculous not even just shows though but like youtube twitch or like amazon or whatever the fuck bro there's just so much shit nowadays Sorry, monthly subscriptions i forgot i was paying for and they make it super easy canceling Imagine them for you an with episode said this is the ericsson family they're just a family 
nothing special about them. Exactly. So you can't really be like, like, obviously you could be like, yo, that's messed up. Why would they do it? Like, shut your ass up. The only reason you watched that show was because of shit like that. If they wasn't doing shit like that, you wouldn't watch the show. People do it because it gives, it, it, like, it's something people want to watch or something people want to see and get attached to. It's the same thing with, like, American Idol or, like, them type of shows, singing shows. It's always a nigga with a sad-ass story that you, like, is going to make it through because they get the longest fucking description of their background. It's like, damn, bro. It'd be a, a regular girl that just get off the bus and she could sing very, very fire, but... Because her backstory ain't sad, like, you know, no, I, it wasn't really giving. Not, no, no pass. I don't know. This shit's always been stupid to me, but obviously we still watch it, though. Just one tap. I like to use it to monitor my spending. Rocket Money allows you to set budgets by just spend less. Join the 3.4 million. Porno mustache. Porno mustache. I don't trust you. For Florida and volunteering the fully funded vacation. Right. Once the participants were selected, the crew would treat the families to a fully funded vacation to destinations such as Hawaii, California, or Florida. During the family's trip, ABC would rally hundreds of contractors, construction workers, and volunteers in the local community to help. Sometimes they would even make Facebook pages so all their neighbors could stay up to date. Oftentimes, the volunteers are critical for the house getting completed on time. Then, Ty Pennington would video call the family and- What if they don't do it? Like, what if they don't make it though? I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, it's TV. You can just extend shit, but no way it's really a week. Show his crew absolutely destroying their house, and sometimes they would take it too far. Take the Rapati Pierce family, for example. The mother and father were both police officers, and one tragic night, Christina was shot during a foot pursuit, which led to her being paralyzed from the waist down. So they hired the LA SWAT team to place bombs inside of Whenever the house. Whenever you have the chance, of course. Maybe after this vid, like the other person said baby metal gimme chocolate but the music video on YouTube is a must, would be amazing a true W reaction. God uh, damn! Alright. Sorry everybody for interrupting. But I have a question. How what? tie do you think you can suck your own dick? What? Okay. Cause I tried it and I think I'm gay. Anyways what your thoughts about Usher trying to take people girls? No, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. Usher needs to just keep doing that so that pe uh, so that more women can get exposed for like if their thoughts or not, <laughs> if they for if they're for the streets or not, bro. Cause I don't know if y'all seen, but he 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 sung to one girl and the girl hopped on her hopped on her nigga lap. <laughs> Round of applause, like like hello. Round of applause. More women need to be tested. It need to be the same thing with men. It need to be some girl going around with her ass out like ice spice or some shit, trying to dance on men. <laughs> detonate them then drive a massive battering ram attached to an armored truck to destroy the house now obviously chat what you doing ice spice come to you with, with a little skirt on her ass is out and she's trying to twerk on you and you got a girl at home and there's cameras everywhere you're folding that's a damn shame <laughs> that is a damn shame you know what that you know what that means weak weak man come on stop being so tempted by ass it's literally ass man they have to do demolition to rebuild a new house from the ground up, but it would still be- This is crazy though, bring the, like, bring the SWAT team. It'd be a bit traumatic to watch your home filled with all those memories get smashed to a million pieces, but the ridiculousness didn't stop there. Remember, my girl ain't Ice Spice. <laughs> you realize Ice Spice just twerking on you at a concert does not mean that she finna be with you then? <laughs> you know how many singers uh bring a nigga on stage and start dancing on that nigga you th you you think if he broke up with his girl and was like yo i just broke up my, with my girlfriend beyonce beyonce about to be like bet huh <laughs> coil ray finna be like bet i'm with you like we together now no remember this is reality tv <laughs> just building a very practical standard and modest home wouldn't it be is good what it is so the carpenters and designers were pushed to create increasingly elaborate designs and gimmicks to boost rate i'm different bro things such as this airplane themed bedroom with bags of peanuts as curtains this very small backyard that was converted to a miniature go-kart track okay think about just how fucked up that is what if i wanted what if i just wanted a simple pool bro I'm not gonna use this shit every fucking day. How many trips around that go-kart track would a kid be able to do before they get absolutely sick of it? Or, yeah. Hey, Big Booty Donny Wonny, how you doing? Did you see the video where a fan asked Ice Spice out loud on camera? Can sit on my sit face. On his face. Yes. And let him eat her ass. Oh, I didn't hear all that. I just heard, yo, Ice Spice, can you sit on my face? That is the definition of down bad. 
of down bad. Holy, you like you? It's it's yo, you're weird for that. You're so weird. Why not a playroom with a ball pit containing twenty? Like that, you you realize how like. I don't even like these type of people. I don't even like these type of people, but that is weird. Like that, that had to make her uncomfortable. I ain't trying to speak for her, but that's got to make her uncomfortable as, you know, just, she's just walking to wherever the fuck, I think backstage or wherever. And then there's just a guy talking about sit on my face. That's fucking, that's disgusting. 27,000 plastic balls. And my personal favorite, a teenager's room entirely made. I ain't gonna lie, that's sexual harassment. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. That's sexual, that's sexual harassment. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be that person, bro. <laughs> Some people be OD with that shit. Like, just calling everything sexual harassment. But that's just, that's just sexual harassment. You're being fucking weird. I don't care. Out of duct tape. Desk. I have a bedspread and a pillowcase made out of duct tape. The designers would take one small facet of their personality and dedicate the entire bedroom to it. Like I ain't going to lie. That would piss me off. That would absolutely piss me off, bro. I'm a grown ass man. Just because I say I like Harry Potter does not mean I want my bedroom where I share that I share with my wife to be decked out and full of fucking Harry Potter shit, bro. <laughs> you better fucking relax, man. This toddler who said he wants to be a cardiologist when he grows up. So they put EKG signals on the walls and a dresser designed to look like a human heart. Rooms like this seem very difficult to age in and the tacky designs would actually take a considerable amount of effort to change. But sometimes it wasn't just tasteless designs. They would actually create new responsibilities that the family may not have even wanted. Yeah. For example, this teenager got a jacuzzi that took up half the bedroom. Could you imagine your room constantly smelling like hot chlorine water? The cost to maintain a jacuzzi jacuzzi is only about 20 to 40 dollars per month in sanitizer and chemicals but even doing the maintenance That's is a burden so dumb. maybe nobody wanted just draining that water every three to four months like you're supposed to would be incredibly inconvenient another thing they did often was add huge fish tanks or animal habitats like this boy's room that looks like the reptile section at a pet store oh that's just with frogs turtles and lizards but and now you got to care for all of that by the way buying pet food supplies and cleaning the tanks is even more important because it will literally kill the animal if you don't Extreme home makeover inserting new responsibility onto you without your choice isn't only annoying. For some people, it created even more problems. And Yo, what if they mishear something too? Like, what if while we're talking, I'm like, yeah, and like, I don't like spiders. I, I, I do not. I do not. I do not like spiders. I do not. I do not like spiders. Yo, you hear that? He said he likes spiders. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> and financial stress that ultimately forced them to move out of their homes. Now, most of the time, ABC would entirely pay off the home for the family. However, owning a home is more than just paying the mortgage. Don't die exactly. if after decides to strike on Wednesday, actors will not be able to film any movie and TV productions, take part in any press junkets or film premieres, promote anything at San Diego Comic-Con, and will be advised not to attend at all. What? This shit still hasn't been figured out yet? Is this like a simple thing? To pay the fucking writers? Yes and no? Why, where, where's the no for, what, like, what's the no about? Why, why, why is there so much pushback on this? Hello? Oh shit, hold on.
All right, hold on, chat. Let me get my food real quick. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Hello? Hello? Can you talk to chat? tripping what the fuck sorry about that sorry man niggas asking all this shit shout out to you expenses such as property taxes utilities and home maintenance add up extremely quickly there have been multiple reports of families whose expenses doubled if not tripled within the first uh, year yeah living especially there. if you get a the dickinson family went from an 1800 square foot ranch to a six bedroom four bathroom 4,000 square foot super home equipped with cutting edge technology so it's only natural to assume that the bills would go up their electric bill alone went from about $200 per month to as high as $600 after. Their property taxes tripled. The wife, India, said she wasn't worried. My husband works and I work, so if I have to work another job to help keep it up, that's what I'll do. But as the years went on, it got worse and worse. Hell no. And in October of 2016, William filed a Chapter 13 bankruptcy petition to save his home from foreclosure. Damn. He had only $5 in cash, $287 in a checking account, and $15 in a joint savings account at the time of filing. However, it seems like they never lost the house. Because on 2022 Google Maps, you can see William and his daughter standing outside the front door, proud of their estate. But that situation was nothing compared to the Oak Valley. I mean... But damn, at what cost, though? Ath family. The Oakvaths were from Gilbert, Arizona, and their story began with a heartfelt letter from their daughter, Cassandra, who requested the show to renovate the cancer ward oh. where she had been a patient. Oh Touched by Cassandra's selfless request, the producers not only granted her wish, but also surprised the family of nine with a two-story mansion. The construction involved a massive team of 1,600 contractors and volunteers that garnered oh, attention God. from across the state. Unfortunately, this wasn't happily ever after. Utility costs reached $1,200 for electricity per month, and four hundred dollars per month for water property taxes increased from 1600 pre makeover to 5600 oh after God. brian lost his job and was battling depression with no other immediate solution they used their house as collateral to take out a four hundred five thousand dollar loan it was an adjustable rate mortgage and the payments became too much for the family to handle. This was their dream home and they knew they couldn't afford it. Craziest part is they never even asked for this in the first place. Wait, what? The ironic part about the these situations is that people's first instinct is to doubt the families. Why couldn't they figure it out? Why not get another job? Why didn't they just sell the house? Okay, some people just just don't own homes, that's why. <laughs> the people who say that shit have never actually like taken the time to buy a house. That just shows how stupid they are. Most of the time, nobody wants to buy these homes. The Oak Vaths listed their house for $1.8 million, then slowly started to lower the price over the next year. Out of desperation, they ended up selling for $540K, just enough to break even on their loan and maybe put a down payment on a new place. The Beach family have been trying to sell their home since February 2013. The price tag started at 700,000 and is now down to 535,000. They say they've had to sell because the upkeep of the house is just too much now. It's a unique home and will take a unique person to buy it. Most critics forget the reason these families got these homes were because they were struggling in the first place. Many of them had pre-existing debt. Some of them weren't. They all living in the same house? 
even homeowners in the first place. They were renting the house and ABC bought it and built them a new one. Combine these money issues with the family trauma they were all experiencing and it's a recipe for disaster. Damn. From my research, every single family that sold their house sold it for less than what it cost to build. But no matter what reason they chose to sell their house, they faced backlash from the community. Since each home is a community project with hundreds of volunteers, they look at the home like a gift from their neighbors. The Hassel family decided to sell just three years later because it was too much stress to handle. Then a publication interviewed members of the community to see how they feel. A lot of people gave time, product, and services. Some are very angry. Some I've run into have asked, why do they deserve it? There was even a letter written to the local newspaper that titled, The entire Hassel family story is a disgrace and humiliation to this community. The Harper family's house foreclosed, and the mayor's response was, It's aggravating. It just makes you mad. You do that much work, and they just squander it. What? Because he helped vault a massive beam into place in the Harper's Bro, living room. Hating. The Nicholas family received a home after the father died from contracting hepatitis C when he was pricked with a patient's contaminated needle. Nine years later, the home was foreclosed because the mother could not manage the previous home mortgage and new property taxes that tripled in price. I feel bad because so many people came together to help us, she said. I know I shouldn't feel like I let them down, but I do. Many of the families feel guilt and shame that they couldn't live happily ever after. Most of them don't want to sell their houses, but the financial stress and family tragedy is overbearing. As the years went on, ABC scaled back their projects because so many homes were being foreclosed on. They eventually realized these over-the-top charity acts were too extreme to be truly helpful. But then their Duh. ratings dropped since the homes weren't extreme enough for TV, which led to the show being canceled in 2012. I also noticed that they only have a small selection of episodes available on Hulu today, and all of the families who went on to sell or get foreclosed on got their episodes removed from streaming services. It turns out, when you find a broken family facing hardship and financial problems, build them an extremely oversized home with ugly interiors in the middle of a neighborhood surrounded by other homes not even worth half as much as the new one they just built, it ends up doing more harm than good. Duh. Duh, why didn't they know that though? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That is fucking crazy. <laughs> That is fucking crazy how many people got fucked over. I ain't gonna wait, did Patrick make a video on um Pin My Ride? I think it was him that I remember hearing that shit from. It was either him or some some other. It was probably another channel. But I know it was for sure a channel. Shout out to Patrick.